Hey everybody, I'm back with another video, and today I want to talk about the macOS Monterey version 12.3.1 update that I applied to my MacBook Pros, my 2012 MacBook Pros. I have two here, and before we get into it, if you start looking online, you're on the fence which one to buy, get the gloss finish. Don't buy the one with the matte 1080p anti glare. Yeah, it's not in person. This looks night and day compared to that one. But anyway, back to the video. So, yeah, I did the update. We were working on something, just testing something out on Xcode and needed the latest version of Xcode. Come to find out on, was it version 10, I believe, you cannot use Xcode. You can't get the latest version. You can't export to your phone. You can't test anything. You're really kind of stuck. These laptops, when it comes to development on the iOS side, or out of date. Android was working just fine. React, all that stuff works just fine. Docker works fine, but Xcode will not work. Unity works just fine, but it will not work on the base of these two, uh, on the version 10. So I upgraded to version 12. The instructions are in the description. Everything I used, all the hardware, all that stuff is in there as well, all the links. But yeah, so we're here. I'm really happy. It works really smooth. Both of these are working just fine. The heat bar is, it's, you know, it's not hot at all now. I did the thermal paste. I am so happy I did this. So when you follow the instructions, it's pretty straightforward. Just take it step by step. Um, you'll see that I used a tool. So I ended up buying two new SSDs. I bought a 256 for this guy, which was the same size as here. It's a cheapie. And then I bought a good cheap, you know, 500 gig SSD to expand the size on this one. But again, not spending a lot of money. And then the cable you'll see is a USB to hard drive connector. I already had that from a couple years ago, but I use that piece. You will need either a 16 or 32 uh, gig uh, flash card. So use those and I was good to go. So I put the software on that flash drive, plugged it in here. And as soon as I plugged it in, I plugged, I took, it, took the base off, put the new hard drive in, ready to go, put the old hard drive through USB to that cable. So that way, if anything went wrong, I didn't lose my data. I still had a perfectly good hard drive I can throw back in here that's running the old version 10 and get back to business. Same with this guy. So once I did that, I started the process. I have fiber internet and it still took maybe an hour or so to download and install. So I would say as soon as you fire up the wizard and go through you know, the erase steps and you say, start the process, start install start it and just walk away you know let it do its thing it's going to reboot a few times it's, look, it's even going to look like it's hung up but just ignore it after about an hour hour and a half pushing it you know it should be done by that point you'll see a you know welcome screen and let's start setting up your laptop and along that wizard you'll see a step that says transfer your data and since you have the hard drive already plugged in when you say transfer it'll see it and it'll pull up all your profiles. It'll tell you how big your profiles are and all that stuff. Just say next. Now I will say on this laptop, the this one I transferred, no problems. It went through, it did its business. With this one, something happened where it got stuck and it didn't like it. So instead of proceeding and just fixing it later, I stopped, turned the laptop off and started all over again with that same new hard drive in here to start it over redid the whole install for about an hour and then when i did the transfer the second time i had no problems it completed and everything was good to go when you finish you will have the open installer you're going to copy it off the flash drive onto the hard drive i'm going to tell you to put it in the share folder that comes i think there's a share folder built into the mac you want to put it in that folder and that's because what i found is every user profile i had to run the root program again the post install part of that steps i had to do it for each user because when i logged in with each one separately the first login was really slow the fans were really high and the laptop was going kind of crazy but once i ran that rebooted it it would come back up and it was running perfectly smooth so if you notice it's sluggish not on the first account but the second account after you do all the steps just do that post install which is this guy here so i'll kind of click here you'll open it up and you'll see the post install right here, the second option. When you click it, you'll say start. And when you do that, it's gonna tell you to log in as admin. So log in as admin, run it. Once it's done, it'll tell you when it's complete. When it's done, restart the laptop, go back and you should see better performance. 
Um, I've had updates come through and it seems like every time I get an update, I have to run that post installer again. So don't be nervous. Just run that installer. You should be fine. Again, I'm not telling you to go do it because I'm not buying a new laptop, but my experience, both of these went just fine. Even my Mac mini that worked just fine. And I was able to do what I need to do, export those builds out and keep it moving. I'm really happy that it worked. Uh, no problems. I'm saving up for a new MacBook Pro 16 inch, but 32 gigs of RAM and the new model are pretty expensive. So a hundred bucks a month is going to be a couple years before I can buy it. So I'm hoping these, you know, these two and the mini, they last me, you know, hopefully I'm going to push it three or four years, but you never know. Um, let me check my notes. I think that is about it. Again, everything's in the description, the hardware that I used. Um, just follow his instructions. It's pretty straightforward and just be patient. If anything goes wrong, just start over. Don't be in a rush. Um, and Xcode will be working and everything will be working smooth. The apps. I do not have app access on here. I haven't tried it, but I believe I may try that later. Maybe do a follow-up video and see if the apps work because I haven't tried those out. I don't really use apps on my laptop. But as far as everything else, just really, again, the biggest thing I noticed to me was after making my last video about using the laptop in 2022, Xcode did not work and everything else did. So if you need that, update, update to this and you'll be good to go. So thanks for watching. Bye.